Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Patu and today I'm going to show you how to download shaders from Minecraft 1.16.4. So to start off you need to have downloaded and installed Optifine before you can install your shaders. So that's why we will start off by downloading Optifine. So to do that click on the first link in the description and that will take you to this page. And as you can see this is from Minecraft 1.16.4 but now let's click on download and that will take you to an edge page but here you just need to wait for a few seconds and then you can click on skip in the top right corner so just do that and that will take you to the download page. And here you will just need to click on download but as usual our computer will give us a warning that this type of file can harm your computer. So for a lot of you, this may look scary, but it definitely is not, and this is totally safe. Because as you can see, this is actually the official Optifine website. And we can also see that the name of our downloaded file is Optifine 1.16.4. So this is safe, so therefore you just click on keep. So when you have downloaded Optifine, it's time to download the shaders pack. So to do that, I would recommend you just search for Minecraft shaders in your search engine. And then you can just click on any of these links and find a shaders pack that you like. But for today's video, I will be downloading a shaders pack that is called BSL Shaders. And I absolutely love this shaders pack and I've actually used it for a very long time. So if you want to download this pack as well, then click on the second link in the description and that will take you to this page. And here you will need to navigate to the download tab as you can see here in the menu. And then you need to scroll down a little bit. And here you just need to click on this download button here and that will automatically redirect you to our CurseForge page. But this is an official website that is very trustworthy so therefore this is safe. And after waiting for a little bit the download will start automatically as you can see in the bottom left corner here. But if the download doesn't start automatically you just need to click here and then the download will start again. And whatever you do do not click on anything else in this because everything else is kind of much an ad so do not click on an ad like this one. But when the download is done, you need to minimize your web browser and drag the files out to your desktop like this. And when you've done that, you can just close out of your web browser. Alright, so now it's time to actually install Optifine. And to do that, just double click on the Optifine file and that will open up the Optifine installer. So now you just need to click on install and then wait for a little bit. Uh, but as you can see, the installation is very fast and now it's done. So now just click on OK and now Optifine is fully installed on your computer. And the last thing that we need to do is to actually extract the shaders pack. And to do this you need to right click on the shaders pack file and click on extract all. And then this will pop up. And here you just need to click on extract in the bottom right corner. And that will load for a little bit but now it's done. So if a folder opened, you can just close out of that. But as you can see, another folder has been created over here and this is the one that we want. And you can just remove the other one, but this is the one that we want. All right, so now it's time to start the Minecraft launcher. So you just do that. But keep in mind that if you want to play with your shaders, you always need to play with the Optifine version, which you can choose in the bottom left corner of the launcher. But now just click on play. All right, so we're now in game and in here you need to click on options and then click on video settings and at last shaders. And in here you need to click on shaders folder and that will open up a folder. And it's in here you need to put your shaders packs. So just drag in your shaders and mine is BSL shaders, you may have a different one, but put it in here and then you can close out of this folder. All right, so to activate the shaders, just click on it and then let it load for a little bit. Alright, so there we go, the shaders are now activated and ready to use. So now we can just go back to the main menu and uh, join a single player world to try out the shaders. Alright, so we're now in game and as you can see the game looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at the sky, look at the textures, I mean this water is absolutely amazing. But you can actually make it look even better by activating a resource pack. But if you don't know how to download resource packs, you can click on the third link in the description. But you can also click on the notification in the top right corner right now. Uh, but now I will activate a resource pack to show you how beautiful the game actually can be. And I mean, look at this. It's even better be than before. I mean, this is so good. But anyways, that is all for this video. So please leave a comment down below if you have any questions and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like at the video. Uh, but my name is Pato, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.